Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to another Let's Play series from me. Do you love turn-based JRPGs? Were the dungeons in Fantasy Star 1 too straightforward for you? Would you like to play a JRPG that would brutally emasculate you? Then come, and let's play Fantasy Star 2 for the Sega Genesis. Although, I'm playing the Virtual Console version on the Nintendo Wii. There's also the Game Boy Advance version, PS3 PC version on Steam, and there's a PS2 version, but that's like a full remake and stuff, so that wouldn't work. But I think all the other versions are virtually identical. Now, just so you know, this game is going to have some spoilers to the first game, so just something to be aware of. It's not absolutely critical, but it is there. And for some reason, they shortened the name of Matavia to Moda, or Mata, or however you pronounce it. I thought that place was a whole desert. What's going on here? Ah, yeah, they're using the American translations for the characters there instead of Lashiek and Alyssa. Well, it's just Lassik and Alice because that's the names that they gave them in the American translation of the first game. But yeah, this game is very different from the first game in terms of gameplay and the battle mechanics and all that. So we'll go over that when we get to it. Oh, wow. A mother brain that's actually a force for good? Never thought that would happen. What's with all those black spots? Yeah, black rows or columns or whatever that stuff is. Well, we'll learn more about that later. But it seems to be doing a pretty good job with the whole planet here. Got water, forests. I don't know why they have those gigantic lily pads everywhere, but, well, they're there. Well, yeah, got rid of pretty much all the desert, really, or most of it. I don't see any domes where they're making all the food, but maybe that's what those lily pads are. I don't know. At least it looks like a lily pad to me. But, okay. Now well, this part of the planet doesn't seem to be doing too good. Let's see, what secret? Of Evermore? No. No, that's another game of yours. But, uh, well, okay, let's get started here. So, for... Well, let's start a new game. And, uh, for this, I'm going to use the canon name of the main character, Rolf. Yeah, we only got four letters to work with, so... Well, there we are, let's get started. How bad could they possibly be? Whoa, I remember that guy. I don't recall her using a sword against him, though. I was just mostly shooting magic at him all day. But I can't even tell how much damage I'm dealing to the guy. Suzaku Kurugi, is that you? What agent? Secret agent? I don't think they ever really say what kind of agent he is. He's just an agent of destruction or something. I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Well, yeah, at least we got oxygen now. The whole planet isn't the desert anymore. But okay, let's get started here. This is all moving automatically, by the way. So, uh, I've been working for you for two years. Why are you t repeating who you are to me? That's kind of creepy, dude. Uh, probably breaking the fourth wall so that way the, well, players will actually know what's going on here. Oh, sorry, I went through it a little quickly there. But... Kind of plans. Oh. Don't we have guns and everything? Ah, okay. So we gotta get a recorder from a biosystems lab to get uh, some data, I guess, to figure out where all these monsters are coming from. Maybe you sh should ask Rufus Shinra. No, no, that's another game. Yes. So we gotta get that recorder, huh? Is that like a flute? 
No. No, not in this game. And we got uh, 80s Jap Japan animation styles in this game. Nay, huh? I, I guess that's how you pronounce her name. She like an elf? Oh, so... What, is she like a cat girl or something? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, whatever works for you. Yeah, just uh, keep the place tidied up and uh, we'll be fine. Nuts. Yeah, I've played this JRPG before. Okay, yeah, you gotta take her with us, so. Okay, well, let's see what we got here. Let's uh, try to get some information where that biosystems lab is. Whoa. Better watch out for that guy. Okay, how's it going? Oh, yeah, so I've heard. Doesn't seem to be doing too good of a job lately, though, but... Well, let's see what we got here at the central tower here. We got a room where we can store excess items and stuff. There is a limited inventory that both characters and the storage area has. Uh, usually, I like to keep key items here once I'm done with it, or any items that are too good to use until the final boss. So, but we don't have anything, so not much we can do there. Let's see, we also have a library here where we can get some basic information on the game. I can't tell if that is a woman with red lipstick or a man with a nosebleed. I don't know. But yeah, I would like to know how to get there. Ah, do they breed humans there, too? Ah, well, it seems like a pretty nice place. That's just one creature? No, a whole bunch of them. Ah, well, I wouldn't worry about it. There's some other information you can get here if you want, but it's not relevant to the plot right now, so I'm going to save those for later. So, let's take a look around, then. Got more control towers here, but there's nothing in them, so I wouldn't worry about it. But yeah, they got, like, a whole information internet network or something or other going on here. Why is that? Oh, well, yeah, I suppose if Mother Brain's taking care of everything, what do we need to work for? Well, I suppose we need money. Uh, speaking of which, the currency in this game, just like the first game, are uh, Mercedes. Uh, see in the lower left there, we start with 200. So we can buy some stuff with that, which we're going to do very shortly. All the shops in the game look like a red or orange color. So well, that's where you buy stuff. So, well, good for you, lady. Let's see what we got here. Now, uh, Nay uh, doesn't come with any weapons. So we're going to have to buy some stuff for her. Let's get a steel bar. So you're just going to whack people upside the head with a steel pipe or something? Or whatever that is? Well, anyway, I want to get two of those for her. Because, well, this game's kind of like Final Fantasy III. Where you could dual wield weapons or shields or one of each. or Well, you even have two-handed weapons in this game. So in order to equip stuff, we go to the equip menu. I don't know why they abbreviated equip that way. They still have two more letters, but okay. So let's give her some weapons. We already got equipment for the other slots, so I wouldn't worry about that. You equip a weapon, boom, you get a lot more attack power there. And you can attack twice per round. So yeah, that's definitely the way to go for her. Let's see, Rolf. I only have the one knife. I do want to buy another one, but it costs 100 mesetas, and I don't have that yet. So, we're going to worry about that later. But we do want to buy one eventually. Uh, game? What do you mean? If you go to a strange town, strange people might be stalking you at your home. That's kind of creepy, dude. But, okay. Well, anyway, that's how you get new party members in the game. Whenever you go to a town, just walking into the town and then going back home 
there's a new party member who magically appears there for some reason. Kind of a strange way of getting more party members, but okay, whatever works. But anyway, we got our basic healing items in the game. Monomates, or Monomate, or I think it's Monomate, that's how I'm pronouncing it. But yeah, they restore 20 HP, Dimates restore 60. Antidotes, as with any other RPG, cure poison. Telepipe, I think that transports you from one town to the other, if I recall correctly, but I never use those, so I forget. But I do know escape pipes uh, let you warp out of the dungeon. So I definitely want to get one of those for the dungeon we're going to be going to because the dungeons in this game are really, well, not so much long, but uh, difficult to navigate. Let's put it that way. To put it nicely. Oh, yeah, I kind of already went there. But, well, thanks for the redundant information. Let's see, we got an armor shop there, but there's nothing I really want to buy there for now. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see, headgear. I could get that for Roth there, but we're going to find one in the dungeon we're going to go to first, so I wouldn't worry about it. Let's see. Okay, we got fiber coat. We could also get that for Roth, but I already have equipment that I'm using, and it's a bit pricey here for now, so I wouldn't worry about that. Weapons are my top priority. Uh, shields, you could equip those. They just give you defense, and that's it. Oh, by the way, speaking of defense, uh, you can equip weapons that will also increase your defense, too. You might have noticed that when I was equipping the steel bars for Nay there. But shields, they're just pure defense there. Uh, men equip shields. Women equip emuls, emuls. I don't know how you pronounce it. I don't even know what an emul is. But I don't need either of those right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. I prefer to go on the offense in this game. Well, then where's the lake coming from? That's, where'd all the water go, then? It's gotta go somewhere. That yeah, seems like a nice place to me. Arama, huh? Maybe we can find a way to get over there. Well, we still gotta find a way to get to the biosystems lab. Whoop. Stop walking around like a drunk, Roth. Well, let's see some of the other facilities they got around here, too. Well, we gotta find a way to get over there. Uh, but if you recall, one of the NPCs was saying that Darum is blocking the way to get over there, so we can't go directly to the Biosystems Lab, so we gotta find a way to get Darum out of the way there. But anyway, here... Heath Ledger, is that you? Well, this is the revival station of the game, and they don't just bring you back, they just make another clone of you. Somehow, I don't think I want this guy to make clones of me. But you could if you died. So, well, there you are. Did I already talk to you? I don't think so. What about agents? I think I'm pretty dependable. But anyway, here we got a hospital. Uh, they work kind of similarly to the first game. Uh, let's see, cure, I would imagine, would cure poison or status ailments. Uh, heal restores your HP and uh, what do they call it in this game? TP or I guess tech points or whatever there. Uh, basically, for every person who is not at max HP and TP, you'll have to pay some amount for them to restore you to full. In this case, it's eight mesetas and per person, that is. So you basically want to heal up anyone who has full tech points before you go there so that way you can save a little bit of money on healing there. Let's see what we got over here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, oh, okay. Well, I haven't been anywhere, but basically whenever you go to a town, you can go to this place and then you can just teleport straight there. So a lot cheaper than using a telepipe there, but telepipes can be used anywhere. So you can get money, kid? Well, you gotta buy stuff somehow. Oh, I guess Mother Brain kind of provides all the food, huh? Oh, wow, they, this place has sure changed in the last thousand years. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, um, I guess I kind of spoiled that a little bit. But, yeah. So you want to watch out for that guy. Let's see, anything else up here? 
Okay, well anyway, over here, we have the save point area of the game. Bulma, is that you? Well, maybe that doesn't quite look like her, but I don't know. For some reason, she's the first person who came to mind. But anyway, yeah, we can put all this stuff here, and then we can save. So I'll just go with classic HCB. And we're all set and ready to go. Uh, yeah, let's keep going, though. Do I have to hold reset before I turn off the power? No, no, Sega doesn't do that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want that to happen, so I'll just, you know, stay alive. That'll work. What do you mean by that? Do they, like, have a durability counter on them? No. No. Uh, I don't know what that guy's talking about. But anyway, okay, so we need to do a little bit of grinding to get the new weapon that I want. Another knife for Roth there. So, let's take a look around. See what we got here. Fire ants. Now, if you just select fight, your party members will use whatever commands they already have set up here. Sword for attack, shield for defending there. But I don't want to do that. So let's see. Let's go to well, strategy and then order that. And then you can select your party members to do whatever you want. So let's have Nay go on the offense there. And then you select fight. And then we start attacking them. Kind of a weird way of entering in commands for your party members, but okay. Now, as long as you don't press any more buttons, the rest of the battle will pretty much just auto battle until you tell it to stop. So, if you like get injured and you need to stop the heal, you may want to press a button on your controller really, really, really fast. So that way you can enter in new commands. Yeah, it does take a little bit of getting used to, to entering commands that way, but, well, that's what we got. So, let's go through the tunnel and see what's going on up there with Darum. Run into some more enemies along the way, too. Yeah, I can't go through the... I guess those are domes or lily pads or whatever they are. But anyway, this is the bridge that they were telling us about. Okay, let's go. Whoa! Ah, okay. Yeah, we, uh, we can't go past him. Let me see, can I try moving? No, you can't even move to the left from here. So, yeah, let's just, uh, get out of there. Get back to Paseo there. We could go to another town right now, but I would like to get, like, a couple levels for Nay and another level for Roth there, so that way we can actually have the HP to survive. Because the enemies in this game, beyond Paseo, are really, really tough. So, yeah, you want to watch out for them. So, let's just walk around here for a little while. So we don't run into really, really hard enemies yet. I think there's a couple more that we can run into around here, but nothing too extraordinary. Er, extraordinary. Hey, okay, got another enemy here. Bees. What is it with RPGs and gigantic bees? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I've already got everyone set to attack, so let's just go start fighting them. Let's see, these guys, let's see, they got a little more defense than the fire ants that we were fighting earlier, and they got a little more HP. Well, they're pretty much stronger than them in just about every way, but we get a little more uh, experience. You get enough experience points, just like any other RPG, you gain a level, and you get some stat boosts. Really, getting stat boosts in Fantasy Star 2 is not that important. It doesn't seem to really do too much beyond your HP and tech points there. But you do learn new spells upon leveling up. So that's really more the reason for leveling up in this game. Let's see. I think there's a couple more enemies around here. If I run into them, great. If not, well, I'll just fight them off screen then until I find what I'm looking for. Hey, all right. After uh, that battle, we get another level. So, yeah, more HP, tech points. But, yeah, um, yeah, that is something that's kind of weird with this game. Uh, let's see. If we go into our menu, look up strength, we can see our stats there, like strength, mental, agility, and all that stuff there. Most of those stats don't really mean a whole lot. 
they, they seem to be like flavor stats for the most part. Although agility is really, really important in this game. But other than that, yeah, most of the other stats either are just flavor stats or they're completely broken. So I'll tell you how to get around that problem it, when we get to it. Let's see, one more battle. I should be able to get the knife that I want for Roth there. And remember, I also want to purchase an escape pipe too when we go into a dungeon coming up here. I would like to show off at least one more new enemy before calling it a wrap. Okay, we got another one there. Mosquito! Uh, those guys can actually drain your HP. So you want to watch out for that. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, with the attacking commands, if you don't, like, manually select which enemy you want to fight here, the game will automatically default to whichever enemies are on the left. Yeah, unlike the first game, you can actually run into more than one type of monster in a single battle there. And, yeah, you can see what damage you're dealing there. In, in the bars up the top there. And, all right, got it. How much did we get? Aw, oh, man, I'm still gonna be a little short. Well, let's fight one more battle, and that should be good enough to wrap everything up there. Yeah, I would like to be able to dual wield with Roth there. That would be pretty nice. Speed things up quite a bit. Hey, hey, all right, got another level from uh, that battle there. What about Rolf? I think Rolf is really close to getting another level. So, you know, I was going to buy a knife, but I do want to fight one more battle just to finish off that level. Usually for every two levels that Nay gets, Rolf gets one level. That seems to be how their experience is scaled. But anyway, okay, last new enemy around here, Poisoner. Uh, contrary to what their name would suggest, they actually do not poison you. They, uh, just paralyze you. I guess poison can possibly paralyze you, but... Okay, that works. But there are actually two different status rooms. There is another actual poison status in this game. But anyway, take out the B there. All right. Ooh, wow, lots of status from that one. Okay, so, finish off that level there. So, let's heal up. How, how are we doing on money there? Okay, I need a little more money to buy an escape pipe. Uh, I'll do that off screen eventually. But since we gained, uh, what is it? Yeah, since we gained a level, I need to heal up there. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, if you took too much damage, you go to text, select nay. We can use the restore spell to heal up your HP there. I think it restores 20 HP exactly so you could do that but since we both gained tech points i'm gonna have to pay for both of them anyway so yeah eight a piece and we're all restored to full there but yeah i think we're doing pretty good there and now with the money that we got want to buy a new weapon not quite enough left over for an escape pipe but oh well that's okay so let's see, yeah, weapon shop, northeast part of town. And let's see, let's get another knife. I would not bother with any of the other weapons right now. They're just way too expensive. Money is actually a problem in general with this game, but I do have a solution for that problem eventually. For now, let's just uh, equip stuff. And there we go, a little more attack power there. By the way, you can rearrange the items in your inventory, just like uh, Dragon Quest 3, where you transfer an item to yourself, and then it'll go to the bottom of your list. So if you're really OCD like me, and you want everything to be nice, neat, and orderly, you can do that. But I'm not going to do that on screen, because that takes up too much time. So yeah, let's just uh, save there, and you don't have to re-enter your name Again, all you gotta do is just go to end and it'll just keep the same name there, so. All right. But how are we gonna find a way to get past Darum to the north on that bridge there? Find out next time on Let's Play Fantasy Star 2. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.